All right guys, Papa Pepper back again with the Steam It Balloon Animal People community getting this party started. Uh, it's not really growing like I thought it would, but uh, you know, I don't exactly uh, live for like, you know, results. Um, gotta do what you love doing, you know. So, uh, so we're gonna go with number two of the uh, Balloon Animal 101, Papa Pepper style on Steam It. You know, just building the community and you know, teaching others so that they can join in because uh, who wants to be left out of a balloon animal party? We're going with pink this time. Last time we had a, uh, yeah, a little blue mouse. And he was alone, he was sad, he was by himself. He was looking for his peeps, looking for his community, saying, where you at? Where you at? Where you at, people? Okay, but this time, we're gonna do something special. We're gonna use the pink, and not only are we not going for like five inches of balloon, we're going for like the whole thing here. And you guys can see that, right? Again, we're gonna start with this end here. I kind of gave more introduction last time, so this one I'm just gonna kind of do. See it again. And you wanna stretch it out? Okay, pretty stretched out, because remember, we're we're blowing here. One thing that uh, you gotta remember, especially if you're really inflating a lot of the balloon and you don't have a pump, sometimes it helps to have somebody pull that. If you're making these for other people, it's a great chance to engage your audience, uh, have children, you know, hang on to it, and you're like, okay, you gotta pull, pull tight, and then you're like, oh, hey, what'd you do, you know? And you let go, you blame them, it's it's fun. I'll, uh, I'll have to show you how to work a crowd later, okay? But you can have somebody else hold the end and, uh, you know, and then I'll always tell them too, one of the fun parts is like, okay, I need some help. Somebody's got to pull this so I can inflate it, you know. And as they're pulling, you know, be like, yeah, I always try to have somebody else, you know, uh, pull on it because if it blows up and it pops, then, then it goes towards them and I don't have to get hit, you know. And they're like, wait, what? Because then you think you're trying to hurt them. Anyway, so we got it stretched out. We got it pink. We're using this end, not this end, okay. You can't blow that one. You blow this one. And, uh. Anyway, okay, here we go. Once you get it started, you're pretty good, right? And just go a little bit of time, whatever you can do. Sometimes I'll even pinch it like between my boots or my feet and use uh, use that to pull it, okay? Okay, we're pretty close here. What do I got? Three and a half inches left. Pretty good on the front. Stretch it a little more. And we're getting pretty long. And you can always, you know, just make worms or snakes. You know, if you, to get started, um, if you're not comfortable twisting. Okay, now, why are we leaving some? We're leaving some because when you twist, you use up part of the balloon. Um, this part that's completely expanded, when you twist it, you pinch it, it moves air from the section you're twisting elsewhere. If it has nowhere else to go, no room for growth, it's not going to work. You're going to run out of space, you're either not going to be able to make the animal, or you get like half an animal, and then it's like, you know, you got to be like, okay, it's a snake rabbit, because it's only half rabbit and the other half's a snake, or, you know, it's a, it's a worm dog, which, uh, like at least... Kids appreciate it at first, but there's only so many of those you can do in a row before people like, you know, don't you have something else to do? So check out this, you know, can I get that all on the screen? I'm leaning back on the chair here. That's pretty big. What do we got? I'd say we got about four feet on this one. So if you were just making snakes, you know, you could blow it up that big, get another probably six inches once that's inflated. Okay. But we're making a rabbit today. Again, just like the, uh, Lonely little blue mouse looking for his people, his community. Steam it balloon animal people, right? Let's build it up. Uh, start at the tip. That's going to be his nose right there. That's a rabbit's nose. Uh, I raise rabbits, so I nose. Uh. Then ears. Depending on the length of the balloon, uh, balloon animal balloons, they vary. I liked it when I can uh, find like, I think this is a buck for 20. Five cents a piece, that's a pretty good deal. Um, it doesn't really say anything other than uh, celebrate 
twisty balloons, you know. Well, maybe balloon animals patented or something. They call them twisty balloons, but either way, gotta twist them right. So we got the nose. I head back about six, seven inches, and you give it a pinch and a twist. Now, if you do that too much, it just pops eventually. A couple of them locks into place. Fold it back on itself. That way you can make sure that the one you already have is going to be matched by the one you're making. At about the same place there, you pinch that. You cut it, all right, and you twist. At this point, you've got one little ball, two longer ones. Twist them together. There's a twist. There's a twist. That's all you really need. That's its face, guys. Can you see it? Nose, ears. This is not a lop-eared rabbit. It's kind of more of a jackrabbit, a hair, upright. Okay, ears. Look, it's a rabbit serpent, right? No, no, we got space. We're gonna make more. Neck, I do a lot like the uh, like the nose. You just want a little one there. And then the cool thing, like I like making a nice rabbit that can just sit there on the shelf and look nice. Uh, so we're gonna do kind of a sitting rabbit here. There's other ways of making stuff. So we've got about this left, and we're gonna wanna leave some good space for the legs. So the uh, I'm gonna make the uh, front legs very similar to the ears. Kind of take them at a at a similar distance. So make one there, and got the thumb and the forefinger here, pinching that top. This one I can just bend it, and it's holding itself. I mean, I got one thumb here. That first one's not unpacking. I only got two fingers on it. A little easier than holding together all the little balls of the uh, mouse. But, and then, you know, I can do that too. So again, measure it back on itself to make sure they're the same distance. Give it a pinch at the right distance. And then you twist. And then once you got it, okay? Now again, I'm only holding it with one hand here. So I got my neck. I've got left leg, right leg. Three of them. Lock them into place by twisting them. And if it feels kind of tight, that felt kind of tight, I'm only going to give it one twist there. Here's the bottom of the legs where they meet. Okay. Still got a little bit of space. You maybe think you're running kind of short, right? Well, a rabbit's kind of got a round cotton tail, right? So, front legs, you got nose, ears, neck, front legs, right? Bring it back out to here. So I'm making it just slightly longer than the legs, twisting it. Now, out of these, uh, okay, so there's the front, here's the body, here's what you got left. Out of that, I'm gonna wanna get two legs and a tail. We've got that much space left, right? Kinda fold it, take a peek, okay. So I'm gonna pinch it about here, give it a twist, pull it back. Okay, it leaves a little bit too much. I don't want a tail that's that big on my rabbit. So I go a little bit farther than it was, fold it back. That's a little better, so I twist it. And as you can see here, There's like no space left, okay? So, body, back leg, back leg, tail. Twist them, okay? And then, to make this a sitting rabbit, okay, it kind of looks like a rabbit, but you're like, wow, it's kind of real disproportionate. Well, I raise rabbits, I know, okay? The back legs are a little longer in the front, but if you take the front legs, and you spread the back legs, take the front legs, fold them, put them in, you tuck them in like that, then your rabbit's sitting. You can adjust the neck, adjust the ears and all of a sudden you've got your sitting rabbit look at that tail rabbit he's sitting kind of his haunches like a rabbit would like they do well, that's gonna be your uh, sitting rabbit so steam it balloon animal making number two 101 102 anyway 100 and something right so that's uh that's the rabbit guys Steam it, balloon animal, 103,000. Steam it, balloon animals, 3,000. It's a sitting rabbit, and uh, if you set him down, you know, he sits. He can sit on a bookshelf. He doesn't last forever. He's a balloon. Balloons pop. But, uh, but there you go. So maybe next time, maybe the mouse won't be blue anymore. He's got a friend now. You see this, guys? We're, we're building a balloon animal community on Steam. I like that. All right. Pop out. Steam out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, 
then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.